So uh, my kids and I were actually living with uh, my four oldest's dad. And so um, we had gone back into that situation after Owen was born. And I thought that, um, that I could just handle whatever. I remember telling my mom that um, I think I can just sacrifice myself to offer my kids a house and a home. And um, as I got back in that situation, I just realized how much instability there was and how toxic the environment was. And um, so then started the plan of how to escape that. My transmission went out in my van and I needed a new vehicle. Yay! And um, I had to put a down payment on a new vehicle and that set me back financially a month of rent and it kind of just snowballed from there. Originally we were living in a, a two-bedroom, two-bath place in Worley and we were on unemployment and I was looking for a job and had done quite a few interviews but nothing had panned out and we realized we were almost out of money and so rather than wait till we got kicked out we opted to move out to preserve our rental history and we moved out into a tent. It was very scary, very scary. I didn't know what was around the corner. I tried to make the best of it and tell the kids we're on to our next adventure. But I really didn't know what to expect or what was coming. Kind of hopeless and like I wasn't equipped to face anything unless having five kids as a single mom. And um, we had the police out one day and they were like, you need to get out. And so that was kind of the beginning of our journey of uh, losing our home, and but really the journey to gaining stability and, and strength in our own lives. Sad, <laughs> um, helpless, you know, because I was trying everything I could to get a job. Um, and no matter how many interviews I had, it just wasn't panning out. I was always the second choice and never the first. I had a ton of support between the staff at Family Promise and all the volunteers that stay with you every night and um, being prayed with and cared for. I don't know how to explain it. The support of you can do this and um, I just don't think I would have done it without Promise. Well, not only did we have a place to stay, but we had good meals um, and we had access to a computer with where I wouldn't be kicked off in an hour like I was at the library, um, where I could sit there all day long and apply for jobs, and I did. <laughs> the biggest thing I gained from Family Promise was realizing that, that I could stand. In the moments when I felt crushed and defeated, that I I could stand and I could show my kids what it was like to overcome all of that. I remember, I think it was after the first night that we stayed, my kids were so excited um, to finally be somewhere that seemed stable because I remember my daughter breaking down and going, Mom, I just don't know if I can do this anymore. And that broke my heart. I didn't want my kids going through that. And to see my kids excited for the first time of where we were and Mom, when we get out, can we volunteer? That was such a relief for me after everything that we had been through. I felt like Family Promise was the perfect amount of tools and equipment and, you know, we're going to guide you, but that means you have to, to be here and meet us here in the middle. If you apply yourself and you follow all the advice that you're given um, and you really work hard, there's a light at the end of the tunnel. Eventually you'll get there. Never lose hope. Don't give up because you never know, <laughs> you never know what's right around the corner. Thank you, Family Promise, for helping us get back on our feet. Thank you, Family Promise, for impacting our family's lives. Thank you, Family Promise, for blessing our family.